Good morning. We are so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. I'm at a very busy Midway International Airport. Um, it's early, it's busy, and the FOMO from Princess Weekend is real. Megan ran 5K today, and I'm just very happy to see all the photos, hear all the stories, but I am jealous. And I have our own adventure this weekend, also ACS related. I am going to the ACS Nationals Top Performers Conference in Houston, Texas. I'm going to represent our whole family. And so I'm flying out this morning around nine, gonna to try to find some breakfast. Sarah's got the boys, and it's gonna be a good, good week. me and the boys we have started our morning out early we drove Peter to the airport um, they were so great in the car Teddy slept most of the time um, I got a McDonald's coke cause I am rocking a pretty good headache today the boys had pancakes for breakfast and uh, we're just getting into the groove of things today it is the first day of our 30 minutes of activity for 30 days straight. If you are not a part of that Facebook group yet, it's not too late to join. Also, if you join after today, that's no big deal either. Um, I'll put the link below for you to request to join. The purpose of it is for just encouragement and accountability and motivation and like literally everyone's just posting what what they've started today and a lot of people have already started a post about walks and rides and movement and so it's all about just like making your body feel good um so it's a positive space it's literally the, the purpose is to feel good and to do it alongside other people especially just like sometimes it's, it's just like nice to like have that extra bit of encouragement um so that starts today so that's super exciting to see those posts coming in. And these kids are just already hard at play. I don't know what what kind of movement I'm gonna get in today. I, don't, I, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm sure I'm sure these two will keep me busy. All right, had a pretty smooth flight. There was like no weather, so that was great. Um, just before noon, I'm about to call Sarah and the boys and see them before they try to take a nap. I actually have a friend from ACS who you've seen in the vlog a little bit. Her name is Megan. She's coming to represent the Run Disney committee. And so she's flying in from Florida, but she was on, I think, a New Orleans flight. So she's supposed to be landing here in like 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna wait for her here at the terminal and we're gonna hop in a lift together. Ooh, I see a sprinkles. It reminds me of Disney Springs. But, um, welcome to Texas. Hey all, hey all, greetings from Houston, booyah. We are having a messy lunch today. We're eating pickles, we're eating hummus and non crackers. Jamesy, what's this? Star. Star. Good job. Jamesy, when he sees my tattoos, says, Stars. Stars. We've played Play Doh today. <laughs> Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Not more. Look at, there's ACS swag, ACS swag. And my friend Megan's here with me. See, I told you I have at least one friend. At least one. There's a cowboy hat at the check-in table. 
on a person. We're in Texas. Okay, we're in Texas, yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm right. yawling. That's how you know we're in We're gonna check in and then try to figure out our lives. All right, we're at the Cafe Birdies, Cafe Bar. Megan's room wasn't ready because she's not as cool as me. Um, smooth my room was ready. I was just talking about my old front desk days and it resulted in my room being ready. And then they gave us these little treats for one free drink at the bar. So we're doing that while Megan's room's getting ready. And then we don't have much time. Registration's at three? Yeah, registration's at three. And then the ceremony, I got corrected earlier, is at six. So yeah. And I need to charge my phone and iron my clothes before I get pretty for tonight. All right, registration is open. All right, my phone died as I was about to show you the registration table full of all the goodies, but I have the goodies, I'm in my room. I'm gonna give you a little room tour and show you a little bit what I have before I just kind of chill. We got about an hour to two hours before, actually I think it's three hours, two hours. Two hours before I have to be down there, but I already ironed my, my suit and all my clothes, so I'm ready to change into that later. So then I'm gonna charge my phone so it doesn't die again. Um, I might go explore the hotel in a little bit, but I'm just gonna show you the room and then kind of chill for a little bit. To say I was surprised because I didn't know a whole lot about Omni, what is an understatement. So here's the room, boom, we walk in, got a little closet action here. There's a robe in there, coffee station, really nice bathroom. I'm loving this wallpaper action. A little bit of a dated tub, but love the wallpaper, love the artwork and the fixtures. And going this way, look how big this room is. This is a massive room. Love the artwork, love the big bed. Got driver's dive with the dives on. Nice furniture, there's a, a, a cool or a fridge in there. Here is some of the swag we got. So I have to wear this tomorrow. American Cancer Society Nationwide Top Performers. It's Top Gun themed. Here's my name tag. This we put down there, I'm all or nothing kind of guy. A little welcome message and some information that I'll be bringing to tomorrow's events. Today is just about a welcome reception, celebration, and recognition dinner. A little chair action. And, you know, a nice view of the parking garage and a little bit of Houston over there. I think it's in that direction. But really, 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 really nice room. Not what I expected at all. So I'm just going to get the phone on the charger. I talked to Sarah a little bit. She's got the kids and they're getting ready for a, um, to show the apartment. So I think they're going to go walk around the neighborhood and everything. So I'm going to chill for a little bit and then get ready for the festivities tonight. Oh, oh, Here he comes. Here he comes. across the vast ocean to take it. Got Moana on. Da, 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 da. Mama, mama. <laughs> Come on up. Let me tell you, life is busy with this one. Crawling, he's like down the hallway in the bedroom. Um, still so fun though, right? Wow. I just want to stay like this all day. Oh. Oh. Smooch attack! You got this. I can breathe a little easier now. The um, the tours of our apartment are done for the day. We actually stayed in the apartment this time around, um, which was fine. And I was able to say like we loved it and all of that. The super funny thing is the people who toured it first were like, "Oh, I see. Are you Disney people? Like, I'm from Orlando." And I was like, we're moving to Orlando. They asked what part, and they were actually from Winter Park. And I was like, this is where apartment were. They knew exactly where it was. So I was like, well, maybe they'll take that as a good sign. Um, just some, just some light reading. So I was able to clean up the place. I mean, the floors were not swept. I'm sure there's plenty of dust and whatever to be seen. There's like little, little gems from our Valentine's Day. Um, craft everywhere we're just doing our best um we do our best when peter's here let alone today um everyone took good rests and now it's almost five o'clock we've done play-doh today we watched a goofy movie in my room all snuggled in my bed which doesn't happen often because peter's usually bopping around like taking meetings and wherever we're not um so it's been good so i'm just gonna keep Keep laying low, playing. Jamesy's off somewhere. Oh. 
we just talked to Peter and he's gonna explore the hotel, so we'll check back in at dinner. Always gotta have a loop on, right? This is the Omni Hotels loop. I'm all dressed up. I'm ready for the cele celebration, ceremony, whatever they're calling this fun event. Um, I'm gonna meet Megan downstairs at the bar. But I got busted out an ACS determination pin for my jacket. Also have the Chicago map tie. And of course, Mickey Mouse. So um, two very important pieces to what um, Sarah's mom and dad found something things so near and dear to their hearts, Mickey Mouse and Chicago. So they are the reason why we do what we do with American Cancer Society. Um, resting before the festivities of tonight in the room, I was thinking about them a lot and like, I hate that I'm here. I hate that there is a American Cancer Society. I hate that there is a Top Performers National Conference because of this disease. So um, obviously I hate it because I wish it didn't exist. Um, and I wish all of our loved ones um, who have lost their battle with cancer were here and I wish everybody who is battling cancer currently wouldn't have to go through that battle. So um, that's just where my head's at right now, but that's why we do what we do with American Cancer Society and that's why um, this weekend is important to celebrate the achievements that all these teams have done in raising so much money for a great cause and also to work together to brainstorm better ways to fundraise even more money to advanced technologies and treatments and everything so that, um, you know, when you hear you've got stomach cancer, that it's not the most scary thing in the world because there's so little research behind it, you know, just as much as when Sarah's dad was diagnosed with melanoma cancer, um, research has, and treatment has come so far in the, in the last decade that it would probably have been different if he was diagnosed today. Hopefully 10 years from now or not, not that long, somebody who gets the diagnosis that Sue got doesn't um, lead to the same fate. So that's why we do it. Um, but I am all dressed up, ready to go. Got my lanyard here. Gonna put that on and head downstairs to kind of see what the rest of the night holds. Oh my, Megan and I are hitting up the whiskey bar that they have here. I did not think it was gonna be this legit. <gasps> no. All right, time to enjoy ourselves before we hear potentially sad stories. This is incredible. <laughs> All right, here's the La Reserve menu. I think I'm gonna go with an old fashioned because I have a problem and I can't not order an old fashioned, but I might not switch out the Elijah Craig for Knob Privacy. The Brookhards in Chicago are here with dinner. Kept things simple tonight with a little chorizo bean potato salad. It's like a taco bowl, but without like the fixins. I, I just kind of like went simple, but I dressed up the lettuce. So that has its own flavor and everything else um, has flavor to it too. Like the potatoes have my carne seasoning on them. Um, the chorizo has flavor all its own. It's the soy chorizo from Trader Joe's. And then the black beans I did up like it was taco meat. Um, so it'll still be yummy, just no like toppings. And then James is gonna have the potatoes with some ketchup. Oh, he's almost done with his chorizo and beans. He's also had some pickles too. So good. Don't, oh, you need a drink, a little spicy. Um, don't pretend like you weren't asleep five minutes ago in your chair. So we're gonna have a little mommy Jamesy dinner date because Teddy is snoozing <laughs> while I was cooking. I know. He's trying to tell you. While I was cooking, James fell asleep in the seat. So I took him out and was rocking him. Was gonna put him in his room, but then he woke up and was like ready to go. So we gave dinner another shot. What? You take a bite? Mmm. Ketchup. Potato. Mmm. All right, here is the banquet hall for the dinner and celebration. Look at all these names, all these beautiful teams. So, so incredible. All right, me and Megan kind of don't know still what we're doing. Absolutely not. 
I got told by a person I might be going on stage tonight. But Megan's gonna run Chicago Marathon this year. Keep it in the comments below. Megan runs Chicago. It's happening. It's happening. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. I have like seven different ACS staff members telling me she is. Chicago Marathon top event nationwide American Cancer Determination Endurance Series. How cool is that? Uh, I represented Chicago Marathon with another runner, Meg, and then Megan, who was with me earlier in the vlog, represented Run Disney. Super, super fun. I'm hopping on my bike. I gotta keep my phone on the charger. I have the monitors out. Boys are asleep. I'll give a little update once I'm done. 30 minutes. Day one. So I didn't get to show this earlier because my phone was charging when I took a walk and it's nighttime, but it still looks cool at nighttime. There's two pools here. Look at that, boom. There's like cool seating areas and like cabanas down there. That's where our breakfast is and lunch. But here is the spa. Here's the spa and here's the workout room. I'm gonna go in and we're gonna check this out. All right, we got some bikes. We got a Peloton, how about that? And then we got some weights, fresh towels, water, fruit. Look at this. This is a great facility. Ooh. I think I'm going to... I actually have no idea what I'm going to do. I actually think I'm going to run because I need to be a runner. Um, today starts, if you didn't know, on our Facebook group, we have a subgroup started that today is 30 days of exercising or being active for 30 minutes every day. So I'm exhausted, all the long travels, all the events and everything, but I can't not do it, especially on day one. So I'm gonna get on a treadmill here, got some jamming music going when I knock out 30 minutes, and then get ready for bed and get ready for tomorrow. Got a big day of learning all the tricks of the trade of awesome American Cancer Society fundraising. Um. When did this happen? I did not, oh my gosh, it's still snowing. I did not know like this was going on. I just look outside, I'm like, that is some snow. I suppose I was truly stepping over twice um, in La La Land. Today, just in our own little bumble. Wow, I did it full, full day. It was so nice, we got to FaceTime with Peter and so much of like what we did yesterday set us up for success today and so still a team effort. Um, so proud of Peter for going and for what he's representing there and everyone at ACS is like, we know it's Peter but it's the whole family and it truly is and so like I am like full um, with everything Peter's been sending me and all of that, of course I wish that we could all be there but um, yeah, it was a good day, it was like, smooth and bedtime got a little weird because like Teddy naps like frequently throughout the day he still takes like three naps and he's when he's ready like I just rock him like even out here with James TV on lights on um but I tried to be like a little bit more discreet at night like the lights off and like James just like occupied by himself and Teddy was so nosy with like the lights off like what James was doing so I think tomorrow I'm going to try to like do it more like nap time like what he's used to um, but what worked out was James was so tired that I just laid with both of them in James's bed James was out immediately because he just had a rest today and then like at dinner he fell asleep 
Did I tell that? Did I say that? Yeah, he fell asleep. And then he woke back up, um, rallied. And, um, and Teddy was tired too because I was like somewhat successful, like rocking him and stuff. But then he would be like, what's James doing? They both fell asleep in their room. I got my ride in, I got my shower in. I've, I've mentioned that Teddy is still getting up in the, in the night and he does stretches of like three hours at the moment. We're trying to figure it out. It's better than what it was during his like four month sleep regression, four, five, six months we struggled. Um, but then once like we got him in the crib and in his own space and all that, it worked out great, but he's still, he's still waking up frequently. And now that he's on more formula again, that might change but basically i knew that i needed to just start working out immediately after he went to bed just to like give myself set myself up to like not have to stop mid-ride um and so he probably hmm, there's still a little bit of time before he wakes up so i'm gonna start editing the vlog i'll probably talk to peter he worked out as well again if you're not in that group it's been a fun day of encouragement and motivation I'm like blown away by how many people have been posting. Um, so I will, I'll sign off on my end. It is good to be home from apparently a snowy Chicago. All right, so tomorrow's the big day. You can see here we got breakouts, general sessions, lunches, breakfasts. Gotta wear this shirt. I didn't realize when I showed it to you earlier, there's a backside. American Cancer Society, nationwide top performers up there with the best of the best. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off and just say thank you, thank you, thank you, all of you guys for the years of supporting Sarah and myself in all of our ACS endeavors. It may say, you know, top performer Peter Brookhart here, but that is Peter, Sarah, James, Teddy, Eve, little one, Sweet Pea, Embryos, all of our family, all of you guys, you guys are like our family. So um, thank you for always supporting us, for motivating us, for sharing our stories, sharing our links, and donating as well so this weekend's for you guys too that's why i'm gonna uh, bring you guys along i don't know how much tomorrow during those sessions i'll be able to show like tonight was a celebration and awards um but tomorrow might be more like workshops learning how to do some awesome fundraising it's good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at walt disney productions <laughs>